squeeze. I wish I had never gone camping. I wish I could move. I wish I could breathe properly. I wish I wasn't about to die. I had awoken, feeling a strong squeeze around my body. My bones were compacting. I tried to move my arms. They were clasped tightly to the rest of me. I looked around, terrified. I could see the distance. By his torturous tent, away in the dark, I peeked out in the suffocating breath. Help! I feel the thick rope like a body pulled tighter against my own, and I gulped, trying to move. It was like my eyes were going to pop out from the pressure. All I could feel was smooth scales, all the seaweed and her eyes staring at me in the dim light. The sun shone brightly in the midnight sky. I tried to wriggle out, but the snake's body gripped me closer. I grasped her breaths. I could see my daughter's tent. I tried to scream to her, begging her to hear my choked up voice. Hannah, please. My eyes suddenly widened as I saw never kind of swerve in the grass across from my tent. The snake slipping its forked tongue a few times, tasting the air for its next meal. I tried to stick my hand out and scream, but I was choked tighter, my head feeling dizzy, my body wrapped in a snake like a cocoon. But instead of a butterfly escaping to life, I was heading towards doom. I tried to roll around, tried to loosen the snake's hold, but every time I did, it twisted itself in a coil stronger against my bruised, tired skin. I had tears run down my eyes as I held a small, barely capable breath. I saw the other snake in the distance slip into my ten years old daughter's tent. No! I grasped. My head was getting dizzy now. I could hear crunching and condensing of bones. I could feel the cracking and snapping of my sudden sides. I was screaming in agony, but I didn't even make a sound. So the condor's eyes look at me, his yellow eyes staring to my brown. He stuck his tongue out a few times, looking in the air, before I saw it open its mouth and hinge his jaw. My eyes widened, I squirmed. But only the slightest movement would be, could be made. I pulled its long body around me, then so tightly that my last breath of life left my lips in a beep. Anything I saw before the abyss was a mouth stuck in my head. Then I would now I'm gone into darkness. The last feeling I ever felt. Crushing, snapping, and the squeeze.